one eternity later. Long to get your ultimates. Way too long. It, way, the, the damage you do at the beginning is ridiculously low. It takes way too long to get your fucking ultimates. It takes way too long to kill anybody. It takes way too long to find a match. It takes way too long to freaking get. Ooh, it's got so much go good going for it. But fuck, is it pathetic and everything else, man? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. We gotta be fair. We have to be fair. We're gonna talk crap about Battlefield 2042, and we're gonna talk crap about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Modern Storefront. Then we also have to be honest about X Defiant. We can't sit here and pretend like this game is perfect. It's far from it. But at the very least, when you get onto a game, you expect to not have to wait upwards of 10 to 15 minutes between finding a match. Once you find a match, you're solid. Now that first initial search for a match, oh my god, you guys are going to watch my first search for the match today. There'll be a small break in the middle. That was just when I was switching the background behind my camera from my actual house, which I don't want you guys to see, to my new fun futuristic one. But the wait time itself is all the exact same length. I just had to restart OBS when I was doing it. Now, I was gone for 10 days, so I didn't get to play, and I haven't played through any of the patches. I don't really know anything that's going on. Well, that's not true. I know a couple things and some major issues. First off, net coding is terrible. It seems like some people are having some massive issues with hit detection, and other people are having the most fantastic time of their lives, meaning that if you have an issue with hit detection, you're a liar because they're having no problems whatsoever. The other issue people are having is finding a match, which you guys are seeing right now on screen. Some people are waiting even longer than 10 to 15 minutes to find a match, and when they get into a match, they have a ping that is, you know, the other side of the world they're playing ps2 games on their ping at this point i mean i can say i'm safely in that boat too i'm living in alberta my starlink is like four feet behind me so i know that it's not an internet issue yet for some reason it takes me forever to find a match and when i get into a match <laughs> what i'm seeing on screen happened 57 seconds ago because that's how far behind for some reason my server side is the other issue people are having is there's an incredible imbalance between the different abilities which is going to happen in any sort of game that you have that has abilities in it it took Overwatch forever, and I mean forever, to be able to balance out their actual abilities. Valorant had the same issue. It took forever to balance out the abilities. X Defiant and Ubisoft, which let's all be honest here, Ubisoft is not well known for being, you know, very good at development of video games just threw in a ton of objectives, said all the players will meet at this point, and then gave certain operators really overpowered kill streaks and, uh, and you know, abilities, and other operators have basically no, they don't hold any weight in the battlefield whatsoever. That's a massive oversight from Ubisoft. The other major issue that has popped up over the last few days, especially on my TikTok feed, is that the purifier guy is way too overpowered, and I didn't know anything until the game that I played right after waiting forever to play. There was a purifier on their team, and that guy just destroyed the whole lobby with his flamethrower and constant fire barrage. So we have to be fair, though. If we're going to talk crap about every other game and show the problems with those games because we want those games to be better, we have to do the exact same thing to X Define. Now, I want to be honest with you guys. I'm okay with a game when it first launches having issues. I'm okay with a game when it first launches having bugs and problems. As long as I can play said game. The current state of X Defined, I don't feel I can even play. I don't even feel like I can compete. And to that one guy that constantly says in the comments, and any, I've seen him in every X Defined video I've seen so far where people are talking about coding. Just because you're not experiencing that problem, that does not diminish the fact that other people are experiencing that problem. The coding in this game is a goddamn nightmare. Why is it when I shoot, I have to empty an entire goddamn mag into a person, and when they shoot, it's one or two bullets and I'm dead. I follow a really good sniper in X to find on TikTok. That guy is one-shotting everybody, but I've also seen people jump around the corner, empty full clips into this guy, and he's not dying. He's not cheating. 
100% isn't cheating. It's just that's how imbalanced the game is. I did find it funny though that when I searched up why can I not find a match in X Divide, they're like, oh well, <laughs> you can't find a match, little one, because this game's too popular and it's too damn good. So everybody's trying to find a match, and you just have to sit there and wait your turn to have a very poorly optimized lobby. Well, gee, thank you for that. At the very least, if you're gonna have a game launch, it should be able to actually be able to be played. I have a big pet peeve when it comes to games that launch and then they do not have the server capacity to actually be able to have people play said game. This has happened a few times. It happened in Battlefield 2042. I bought that game day 150 Canadian beautiful dollars, got early access. I didn't get to play that game for a month and a half after it launched because that's how poorly optimized it was. By the time I was able to play, everyone else had realized the game shit and left. Just had the same issues with Helldivers. I bought that stuff day one with my beautiful fake Canadian freedom dollars. Get on, I'm playing and having a blast with my friends and then some stupid streamer picks it up and all of a sudden there's a mass influx of players and everybody who was uh, <laughs> playing the game from day one got booted to prioritize new players. So I had to wait two weeks in the middle of the game i was loving all my friends were on we were playing every night destroying bugs fighting for democracy putting democracy all over those bugs faces dragging our freedom balls across their fucking stupid goopy eyes and all of a sudden boom we all played from day one so we get booted so new players can play and we could spend hours literally hours logging into the game now here we are with x to find another game that I'm, a, I'm i'm okay with it the free to play game we all know the grind's gonna be ridiculous we all know it's gonna be in balance we all know the skins are gonna be over the top and stupid we all know it's gonna turn into a pay to win fest but i want to enjoy it at the beginning and i'm sitting here more i'm throwing rubber ducks in the air longer than i'm playing the actual goddamn game then when i do get into the game the balancing is so bad and so all over the place that you can't actually compete the game i go into there's level 40s and 60s or whatever there, there's, there was definitely a level 40 but there's 20s and ups and their guns are obviously going to be better than my little level 6 gun oh shorty you just needed to play the welcome playlist and you wouldn't have had these issues i searched before deciding to make a video talking about how long it takes to search for literally 22 minutes in the welcome playlist i could not find a lobby and then i had to click each individual one right and i was like okay i'll do escort i really like escort boom come find a lobby 10 15 minutes there and it wasn't until i got the domination that we had the ability to find a lobby here's the deal i consciously am trying to make positive content about x defined i like x defined but when there's blatant issues like having to sit here for upwards of 10 to 15 minutes to find a match, just the first match of the day. After you find that first match, you roll relatively smoothly in between the matches. But finding that first match is enough to turn off players. I was almost done. If I wasn't a content creator and trying to make content for you guys, I wouldn't have played today. I would have gone and gone and done something else. There's some big issues inside of X to find, some massive issues. And if you're going to pretend like this game is anything more than a free-to-play broken mess right now, you're deceiving yourself. You can all see where it's going to be. We can all see the bone that it has we can all see that it has the framework to be good it really is in ubisoft's corner to whether or not this game lives or dies but i would recommend i don't know just me just pff, little old me content creator and consumer of your game you need to fix the net coding you need to fix the coding in general and then immediately after you fix that coding because right now it's so broken that we don't know what is unbalanced and what isn't because it's one second one guy's beside you and they slide 47 feet to the left and you're like what happened here I would then do weapon balancing and then I do ability balancing because right now the the length of time it takes to find an ultimate and get your ultimate is ridiculous if you did better you would be able to get your ultimate faster yeah but yet again i play a lot of objective and i don't get rewarded for playing objective and the people who run around getting kills and have zero objective time are getting their ultimates and having a blast this is a fine line that we have to walk yet again with yet another game do we play the objective or are we just playing tdm in every single game mode that's why i think escorts really where this game's gonna shine it's tdm but you can move the objective and you change the map you know for me personally there's maps where i would rather defend at the very end than even remotely try to freaking help the stop the thing from getting there the game has the frameworks to be good does the game look a little bit 2010 ish yes but that doesn't bother me go back and play assassin's creed one all the goddamn time does the game have net coding issues yes that's where the problem lies this game is going to go the way of every other game right now and it's going to die relatively fast because players don't have time like they used to there's so much games on the market and there's so many places for them to go and they can just go fall back into old faithfuls like call of duty if x defined didn't come out and directly the entire time they were marketing this game say that they're taking on call of duty they're going to be the more casual call of duty which by the way they're not they're way more sweaty than call of duty and i don't think people would have had the idea in their head that this game would be better than call of duty they set the marker they set where they're trying to aim and they're the ones falling short of the goal they set this entire video is just me waiting to get into one game that's it
And that's ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I am back. My family's gone home. I now get to get, make you guys daily content again. If you guys enjoy the video, then please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, special thank you to our channel members. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a good one.